Hello everyone, are you looking to add smooth animations to your react project? In this video, I will show you how to install and use GSAP in react to create stunning animations effortlessly. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, this tutorial will help you to get started with GSAP in react. We will cover installation, basic animations and even a simple project example so stick around. And before starting the video, if you love react content, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more, for more awesome tutorials. First of all, let's talk about how to install GSAP in react. So you can see I have opened my uh, next year's project. Either you are working in react or next, the method will be same. So first of all, you need to open the built-in terminal in Visual studio code and here you will type npm install gsap press enter only this command will add the gsap package to your react project so first of all i'm going to create a div here i will type the content box and inside this i will type some C uh, tailwind css classes the tailwind css is already installed in my project so i can use its classes like width 10 height would be 10 a background color let me run the application so we have this box let me change the width and height to 200 pixels display flags justify center and items center okay so these were some styling tailwind css classes and further i will type text for excel you can see that so this is our basic box now we want to animate this box when our page will be load so let me show you how you can do this so first of all you need to import gsap from gsap next because we are working in react then we also need to install a gsap plugin so let me show you you will type npm install at the rate of gsap forward slash react just press enter and this plugin will be installed to your project after installing this we need to import use gsap hook uh, use gsap custom hook from at the rate of gsap forward slash react next inside by this component we will type use gsap same as we use the use effect hook in our react the first parameter would be a callback function and the second parameter will be the dependency object not array but dependency object now we have this box i want to access this dom element so i will also use another hook name use ref and here i will type box ref is equal to use ref and the default value would be null and similarly i will assign this ref to my this div like this and we will type here gsap and then you will type here two okay uh, gsap ha have also met other methods uh, but first of all we will learn about this method and then here inside this the first parameter would be the reference to our box so our box is this box ref and we now we access the doom element using dot current object and second we need to define an object here inside this we need to define our animation values for instance if i type here x colon 200 okay and now let me refresh the page so you can see that on refreshing our uh, box is moving moving from left to right side for instance if you want to increase the duration of the animation you can type duration 2 like now you can see, see that this will take two seconds to complete its animation and let's use another property name is power to dot out you can learn about these animation properties from their website now let me refresh so, so you can see that basically this will be the controlled time interval for our animation maybe in the starting our animation will be fast and maybe in the ending it will come slow so ease is used for that purpose now let's use some advanced gsap effect so for instance first of all i'm going to type here let me remove all these properties so first of all initially what i want the opacity of our box will be zero we want to scale this to 0 0.5 we also want to rotation rotation of our box so i will use the rotation property 360 and duration i want two seconds and in the last the ease property i will use bounce dot out okay so we have defined these properties for our animations now you can see that friends let me refresh 
you can see that okay so first of all let's cover these properties one by one the opacity zero means initially the opacity of our element will be 100 percent but when our animation will be ends the opacity will turn to zero similarly scale to 0 0.5 means in we are converting our box width to half maybe you can see that you can see that its width and height is decreasing so we are scaling down and then we have defined rotation 360 so, so you, you can see that it is rotated rotating 360 degrees and obviously uh, duration you know it is taking two seconds for its duration and in the last ease bounce out basically you, you can see our box is bouncing out so basically this is due to this property is bounce out now i will give you the final demo for instance we want to animate this bo uh, this on a button click so we will simply define a button which will say animate and i will set handle click listener to this button we also need to define this function here like const handle click is equal to and i'm going to assign an anonymous function to this and or an arrow function and here let me copy this and paste here i'm going to comment this that's it and now let me refresh so you can see that you, we have this button animate let me zoom in we can also add some styling to our button like bg white color gray 900 sorry text slate 900 a little bit margin top and a little bit padding so now you can see that this is our button and this is our box let me click on this so you can see that friends so this was a final demo that how we can animate elements on by using on click listener on a button you can see that so friends i hope that this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section and uh, so what we cover in this video how we can install gsap how we can install the react gsap react plugin in our react project and how we can perform animations when our page will be load and how we can perform animations on users activity like user click or user scroll so i hope that this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching